Hello and welcome to Border Plant Sales. Today we've got an exciting machine here to show you today, as well as experts from Pottinger and Silorap. Let's go take a look. Hi, I'm Sean from Pottinger um, and today we're at Border Plant and we've brought along our Impress 3160 VC Pro. Uh, gorgeous day here today, we've just finished picking up some grass, uh, some lovely haylage. Um, so I just thought we'd spend a couple of minutes just going through a few details, a few features and benefits of our machine uh, for you guys to have a look at. So first of all, the 3160 VC Pro, what does it mean? VC is a variable about baler, hence the V, and the C, it's a combination, so VC. The pro side of things, that's referring to the equipment lineup. So it would be isobus compatible, load sensing, 1000 PTO, a ton of automatic features to help the operator. A couple of other things that would include in the pro side of things would be the knife bank. So we're looking at a 32 knife bank in this machine, which I'll show you in a bit more detail shortly. And also we've got the film on film, which again, I'll go through in a bit. Looking at the pickup, we'll start at the front of the machine. We're looking at a cammed controlled pickup. What does that mean? We're running a cam on each end of the, the five time bars. What does that enable us? It means our pickup is running at a lower speed. Lower speed, less dirt ingress, clean crop. That's what we're aiming for. That's what Pottinger is all about. So we're cam controlled. We're keeping a nice steady flow to the rotor, releasing the tines at the right point. So we're not dragging crop back into the rotor. That's what we really, really don't want. And we're trying to avoid it at all costs. That's why we're going down the, the cammed route. We're looking on the pro side of things because it is a pro. We're looking at a 2.3 meter pickup working width. That's standard when you use the uh, choose the pro lineup and we've also got the the augers in here to help sort of bring the crop into the center of the rotor let's take a look at our knife bank so we'll just open up the side panel here and you can see at the moment the knives are out hence you can see them just in the front here so all we're going to do we're just going to remove the ram here pop that up out of the way there is one the other side but i've already done that take the lever Just unlatch that and pull. And it slides all the way out. Like I said, 32 knives. We're looking at a 34 mil knife spacing, if you look between the knives here. And what we can do, we have the ability to select or deselect the amount of dyes any customer would want. So at the moment today, we've been running 16. And as you can see here now, they're staggered. So if I just show you, at the moment, You've got half the knives going into the baler, and that's what that's showing. But if I wanted to change that, and I wanted to put all, all the knives in, with a quick adjustment, that would be all of the knives into the bale. But I'll tell you what, we'll put that back for now. And also you can see they're double-sided knives, very easy to, very easy to change. And we'll show you this now. Release the knives. And out they come. Like you can see, double cutting edge. So for a long day, turning round gives you two, two sides. But also, if you're only using 16 knives, you can swap them over to put the other 16 in. Still looking from the side of the machine here, you can see we've got two running two rolls, net and film. So this is a film on film baler and it gives us the opportunity of running, they can both be on the machine at the same time. So for argument's sake, you have one customer that just wants net, you can leave the roll in place, leave the film in place, but it's just a case of manually re-threading the machine and away you'll go. Very easy to, to swap between the two. We are finding more and more customers really liking the film on film and that is the, that is the future. So as I said at the moment, the knives are out and you can see them in that position at the moment. So grass comes up over the pickup and then one of the key features that we have is we have a lift up rotor design. So as I showed you the knives just short, just a minute ago, that means all the knives are above 
all of the all the chaff and all the dirt so it ensures that the trip mechanism works works well you get no issues there with blockages and also um, you don't have to use you don't have to use blanks because everything is up out of the way by adopting this lift up rotor technology this means crop comes off the pickup like i said up over the rotor and between the knives and it starts in the center of the bale so that means we're feeding straight into the middle of the bale straight away which means we get the center rolling we get a nice solid core and that is the, one of the keys to our success of making a fantastic round bale from a storage side of things for net and wrap and film we tend to run six each side for the wrap side of things and then underneath at the moment we've got a part roll of net but we tend to put the film in there so you could either put film in the bottom or if you weren't carrying film two more rolls of bale wrap in there as well to fold it up out of the way nicely up of the way just using that hydraulic ram there and it's exactly the same the other side so we just we just mimic um mimic what we can hold Okay, all sealed, and again, working lights all are there in as well. It's standard when you opt for the pro option. So, bale transfer to the bale transfer side of things. Now, because it's a variable, we are looking to either between 0.8 meters diameter or a 1.55. Um, transfer up onto the um, up onto the wrapper bed here. We use this twin satellite design, and if you've noticed, we've gone for the gear underneath. The reason for that is we're just trying to keep a low center of gravity. That's important to us. So that's why we've got the design the way it is. From a wrapping speed, we're looking at a maximum of about 36 revolutions per minute. Uh, that would be our sort of maximum where we're at. Bale tipper design, also available as an option. We haven't got it on this machine today or a, a sort of a mat that runs, out of, uh, runs behind the wrapper when you, when you tip the bale up and over. Work lights all the way around it for those longer days. So if we get a blockage in the machine, we, we call it a sunroof. So obviously with a lot of balers there, you have like a trap door. So a blockage comes through, you'd lower the door, clear the blockage and away you go again. However, on ours, because we're working the other way around with our lift up rotor, we have this whole sunroof side of things. So same principle applies, blockage gets into the machine, lift up the sunroof once the knives are re released, as you've just seen shortly, clear the lump, close the sunroof again, insert the knives and away you go. We have a centrally suspended pickup. As you can see from the middle there, that's where it pivot from, pivots from. What does that mean? That allows our pickup to really react to any lumps, bumps or undulations. And we've got a travel of about 120 millimeters. So we've got a good range there to really sort of make sure our pickup gives you clean forage and follows the ground contours absolutely brilliantly. That was a very short insight into our Pottinger Impress baler. If you want to know more, please feel free to contact Pottinger or Border Plant and we'll be able to help you with your inquiries.